Hey friends, Ash here with Gin Sense, coming at you guys with a fragrance review. Checking out this one today, Black Orchid Parfum, the newest flanker in the Black Orchid line, of course, from Tom Ford. In this video, I'll break this down for you guys, let you know how I like it, let you know whether or not this is an improvement on the EDP, and we'll also touch on the presentation, and I'll just give you guys my general thoughts on it. So let's jump into this. First off, let's go over the pricing at retail. This one right here, 50 milliliters, is gonna run you 150 US dollars. So $3 per milliliter. If you get a 100 mil size, it's not quite as expensive per mil. It's $195 retail. So it goes down to $1.95. Obviously, that's going to place this at the extreme high end of designer pricing that is not a private line fragrance. So it's not cheap. That's what I'm trying to tell you. <laughs> you can pick this up, I believe, as of this video at Fragrance Buy. So it's a bit cheaper there. And I imagine before long, it's going to show up at other discounters as well. Though it is a Tom Ford. So even when it does hit discounters, it's still not gonna be cheap. Let's check out this presentation. You got the name of the house, name of the fragrance, size and concentration right there on the front. Tom Ford logo at the top, nothing on the sides. Ingredients on the back and your batch code and barcode down there on the bottom. And the batch code for this one, A30, A30. And here is your bottle. Like I said, same as the previous Black Orchid bottles, only this one done up all in gold, all the way around. Got the sticker on the bottom, the cap slides into place, does not click into place. I'll waste a couple sprays for you guys in that direction. So I guess the biggest question on everybody's mind is, is this different enough from the EDP to warrant a purchase? If you already have the EDP, is it better than the EDP? How is it different than the EDP? And performance, is it improved? So I'm gonna to try to touch on each one of those things as I work through this review. This one opens up deep and rich, which is going to be one of the recurring themes with this fragrance. It's a very deep, rich fragrance. It's got noticeable florals right off the top. So you've got a Lang Lang and then that Black Orchid Accord right away. And uh, one of the big differences with this one is rum. And you can pick that up pretty early on. So that rum is gonna give you a little bit of booziness and some sweetness as well. You also pick up a bit of earth off the top, but not, not too earthy. Because while it is dark when you first spray this one on, which you would expect, it's black orchid and it's a parfum, it's still got kind of a sparkle to it when you first spray it on, this really appealing sparkle. So pretty quickly for me, it starts to sweeten up. It doesn't go super sweet or anything. It's more so the rum which is a, a sweet rum to me, kind of washes over the other notes, and that happens pretty early on. There is still patchouli in here. There's still truffle in here. And while they do still have that earthiness that you would expect from the EDP, most all of the dirt, for me anyway, has been stripped out of those notes. So this fragrance never really becomes a a dirty scent at all. There's earthiness, for sure. You can pick it up the whole way through, but it's not a dirty earthiness, if that makes any sense. I guess another way that you could view it is that even though there's earthiness in here, it's been smoothed out. And overall, this fragrance I find to be smoother than the Eau de Parfum. It's a really heady, very alluring fragrance. And as it goes through the mid, there's this touch of powder to the scent, but it's not at all like a, a baby powder. So don't take it that way. It's not like a soapy powder or anything like that. It's more so just that kind of feel that you get when you like lean down and smell a flower. You get that sort of like powdery feeling in your nose. It's that, that type of powder is what I mean. And again, it's not really heavy. There's not a whole bunch of it, but I do pick that up from the Black Orchid and the Ylang Ylang. So through the mid, you have these slightly sweet florals with that splash of rum. You've got the patchouli, you've got the truffle, they give you a little bit of earthiness, but again, not really dirty. And it also has kind of a chocolate vibe, which is gonna be familiar to you if you've smelled the Eau de Parfum, though I don't think it's an official note here. It's still present in the fragrance. In the dry down, it's warm. It's got kind of a creamy feel to it. 
you still have the florals from earlier, the residual florals, the alang alang, the black orchid, and you have that truffle and patchouli as well. So does this remind me of the Eau de Parfum? Yeah, absolutely, for sure. It reminds me greatly of the Eau de Parfum. Are there enough changes in here that I think it warrants a purchase? Kind of depends. If you have the extra money, then yeah, absolutely it does. If you already have the Eau de Parfum and you, you don't have, you know, close to an extra $200 to burn, you can probably hold off. Wait for it to hit discounters and save a little money that way. For me, I think that this is superior to the Eau de Parfum. I would reach for this over the Eau de Parfum probably nine times out of 10. I think it's an easier to wear fragrance. I think it has more versatility. Like I said, it's smoother. And overall, just honestly, for me, a better fragrance. I would say the sweetness in here in the Parfum is done better and then the Eau de Parfum and the Eau de Parfum at times, it can be a little heavy handed, but here it kind of, like I've mentioned a couple times, washes over the, the notes and the fragrance and really plays together well with everything that's going on in the scent. So that's a positive for me. There's no real dirtiness in here. The earthiness also tempered by that rum. There's a little bit more of a focus on the black orchid and the Ylang Ylang for me in here versus the Eau de Parfum, but I don't think that it's any more feminine than the Eau de Parfum was, if that's an issue for you. Actually, for me, like I said, I think it's easier to wear for a man than the Eau de Parfum was, or is. And this is also a big attention grabber. Now, a lot of people out there will tell you the Eau de Parfum is a big attention grabber, big compliment puller, and it is for a lot of people. A lot of people, that fragrance just works amazingly with their body chemistry, and it just, oof. It will just get heads turning wherever they go. Uh, that doesn't really happen with me, but I've smelled it on other people where I'm just like, and the Parfum is like that as well. And I would say for me, again, just my opinion, even more so. This one is gonna be more of a fall and wintertime fragrance. Wouldn't wear it in spring, wouldn't wear it in summer. <laughs> it's uh, very much like the Eau de Parfum in that way. It's just got a presence, a heavy presence. It's dense, it's rich. Uh, I don't really find it cloying as long as you don't spray it on too heavily. If you spray it on heavily, it will be cloying for sure. But that denseness, that richness, it just doesn't really lend itself to warm weather. Like right now, still too hot for this. Uh, I would wait until probably late October maybe before I start really reaching for this. As far as day or nighttime use, it leans nighttime, just like the Eau de Parfum. I mean, if you wanna wear it during the day, as long as it's cooler time of year, go for it. But it's more a nighttime scent. It's just the type of fragrance it is. It's that DNA. And as far as uses, more casual or night out or formal situations, I wouldn't really want to wear this one to the office uh, just because it is a heavy scent and the offices that I've worked in, usually you wanna dial it back a little bit. You know, you don't wanna wear something crazy, crazy heavy. Now let's talk really quickly about performance. Uh, some people have actually put that they have problems with the performance on this one, and I do not. <laughs> as far as performance goes, 10 plus hours easily. Um, projection wise, two to three hours of solid, solid, solid projection. It starts to sit a little bit closer after that, but it's not a weak fragrance by any means. Now, in comparison to the Eau de Parfum, maybe this one doesn't project as heavily, but lasts a little bit longer. But overall, it's still what I would consider a fantastic performer, a beast mode performer for sure. So I can't really say performance-wise uh, some of the issues that other people are having, but for myself, it's been really good. There's really nothing that I could want more as far as performance goes. I mean, really it's one of those fragrances you spray two, three times and you're good to go. If you want to spray more than that, you do it at your own risk. But yeah, for me, Black Orchid Parfum, actually an improvement on the Eau de Parfum. And I don't say that lightly because I know the EDP is one of the most loved designer releases of the past 15 plus years. This one though, 
really nice. They did it justice. It's one of those flankers where you take an existing DNA and just make some tweaks to it. You don't really go crazy and release something that has nothing to do with the, the previous release. If you like the Eau de Parfum, you should like this one. If you love the Eau de Parfum, you should love this one. I mean, that's not how it works for everybody, obviously, but for the most part, that's how it's gonna be. Really solid, don't regret it at all, even though it is crazy expensive. Oh, and I guess, is it redundant to own this if you own the Eau de Parfum? Kind of, yeah, kind of. <laughs> it's, a, it's a tweak, yeah, a number of tweaks on the Eau de Parfum. But if you really like Black Orchid, then you should own it. All right, guys, it's gonna do it for me for my review on Black Orchid Parfum. As always, thanks for hanging out with me today. Thanks for all your support. If you have smelled that, let me know what you think about it. Stay safe out there, and I'll see you guys tomorrow with another fragrance video. See you guys.